Hello, I'm Ken Francis, California licensed marriage and family therapist. I've worked with hundreds of people over the years who refuse to engage in 12 step programs and community support, basing their argument on these programs being of religious nature. Fellowships such as Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, Al-Anon, and Adult Children of Alcoholics all base their steps and traditions on spiritual principles. Spirituality and religious doctrine are two very different things. Spirituality includes seeing yourself as part of a bigger picture. It is the sense of spirit and reconnection with your true self and the world around you. Some still argue that it is a religious program and they want nothing to do with religion. Here is the argument I present to them. The religion of alcohol. At what point of your life did your alcohol become your higher power? Did you congregate with others in places of worship called bars and nightclubs? Or did you choose to worship at home alone under an altar called a wet bar or liquor cabinet? Did you realize that these places of worship also call alcohol spirits? Did you hide your bottles for fear of being found out and ostracized? Do you dislike the system for making your worship illegal, fining you harshly for being drunk in public or driving under the influence? Who or what have you sacrificed in your life to keep your higher power of alcohol the most important focus of all that you do? Do you feel uncomfortable around people who do not worship your drink? Do you dismiss those who do not thirst with the same vigor and passion as you do? If you do not believe in a higher power, then why is it so difficult for you to let go of one? In your addiction, you've always had a higher power. In recovery, it's just time to switch it for one that's both healthier and helps you reconnect with your true self and the world around you.